stories of Ricky Steamboat. Uh, did you ever wrestle him? Yes, I did. And I wrestled him. We were both in Georgia. I guess I was about the third year in. Tremendous, tremendous worker. I mean, he, I came back and he said, man. And, of course, it's, it's wrestling protocol <clears throat> when you work with a guy. When you finish the match, to go shake his hand. Thank you for the match. You know, thank you for not killing you. But Steamboat is like silk. You never feel him. All you got to do is register. And register means sell. Here comes the punch. Bam, you're gone. If you register. And we had a match, and I hadn't beat nobody. But I went out there, and I got a little heat on him. The crowd perked up. I mean, and... Because Steamboat, he's smart. He made it look like, well, hey, this guy's a little tougher than you thought he was. And Dutch has a chance to maybe beat me or, or has a chance to win. And they got behind it. So it's, remember, in wrestling, it's two guys telling the story. They got to sing the song in tandem, and they got to make a harmony, and they got to, you know, peek it off with a good finish. And then you got a good match, but he was, uh, he was noted for being light as a feather. How, what's the difference between a very good wrestler and a great wrestler and use Ricky Steamboat as the example of, as a great wrestler? Well, <clears throat> a great wrestler can do, he can do more things or more believable things and say a lot of other wrestlers can do, but, it, but not only that, that gets into an area of where it's, you can't explain it. It's just the, the connectivity to the crowd. Why? When one guy comes out, the people say, Oh, well, you know, okay. But the other guy comes out, he looks better. Or it's just the vibe about the guy that he looks like a star. And that's what, that's what Ricky Steamboat had. Now, of course, Ricky Steamboat, they said his father was Sam Steamboat, an old-time favorite in the Mid-Atlantic Territories in Charlotte and Virginia and the Carolinas. So he was already had an edge going in, but he had that look. He was a good-looking guy. The women loved him. The guys liked him. And the kids liked him. And he had them from the beginning. So all you had to do, was put a dastardly heel like Ric Flair against him, bam, you got business. 